Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Some things that we have tried before, so we really do appreciate you sending those, Uncle Brian, and we'll just pop those aside and enjoy those for later. Thank you. <gasps> Lots of repeats, I right? Look, I just ate the last ones last night. Look. Oh! Hey, hey, that's Oh, look, some more oats, but these ones are a different flavor because they're banana. So we've got some packet mixes as well. We actually do get Maggie products here, so I don't even know if we get these ones on the shelf. I don't actually get instant meal stuff because I like to cook. So you call it Maggie. I've always called it Maggie. Oh, it probably is Maggie. Also, some options hot chocolate. That one's a salted caramel, so we'll try that, that one today. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending these. But let's do a British taste test. <laughs> Hello Tam and Tim, hope you're both well. Yes we are. Here's some more treats for you both to try. Tim, I've put some more oats in for you. They are banana flavour. Yeah, we worked that out. I've also put some black pudding in. Not sure if you've seen this down under. I don't oh. know how this got through border security. Keep up the good work you do on YouTube. Enjoy Uncle Brian. Thank you so much Uncle Brian. What is this? The berry black pudding. Do you know what this is? Blood. These are Haribo fried eggs. But then they're not just fried eggs, they're different flavours. Oh, cool. So you get raspberry, apple, and lemon. Apple, must be apple. Oh. There was one raspberry, it went though. <laughs> so these are the three different flavours here. Let's yeah. try the raspberry one first. Oh, they're very chewy. Hmm. Mm. You know what? I just, I, I, I quite like the flavour, but I want to eat it and it won't let me. Mm, just swallow it like a snake. Oh. <laughs> Went down? I did that, but I didn't want to. <laughs> it's an accident. We'll have apple. That middle bit, the yolk bit, is actually a lot harder than the white part on it. No, eat the cake off it. Good luck. Oh, yeah. It's hard. It's very limey, this apple you're meant. <laughs> the flavours of these are really nice and they do taste really natural. The white part is sort of like a milky flavour to it. There's a little bit of tartness to the fruity bits, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, very subtle though. Like, yeah? There's really much to do about nothing, well, I what? think. This one's going to go whole. What one is it? It's lemon. Lemon? Yeah. I'm going to rip it off. I can't even rip it off. Mm, I like the lemon one the most. Mm. You agree? Mm-hmm. Mm. They've had some nice stuff now. Would you consider meaty sticks to be nice? Oh. These are a protein kick. What's That's with the angry piece of meat? Oh. Original pepperoni, bunch of five. He looks cranky up there too. Well, yeah, he's giving a protein kick, you see. Uh -huh. Oi, you, listen up. Okay. Source of protein, gluten-free, beechwood smoked. I'm not very good at yelling. Nah. <laughs> With our secret blend of spices, add me to your scrambled eggs, he goes. Oh. Yum, yum. What do you think it's going to look like, Tammy? Oh, uh, meaty. Oi, oh, oi. It's got a condom on. <laughs> oh, you can't <laughs> say that. It's got a... Oh, she's popped the top. Oh. <laughs> Look, I love it. Like so just it. That's half the fun. There you go, guys. Oh, it's very strong. Yeah, I quite like salamis. Oh, it's a bit slippery, isn't it? <laughs> Comes out of this plastic little sheath thing really easy. Is it Try nice? It. I don't know if I want to. I'll break a piece off. As bad as I thought. Mm -hmm. It's very firm, it's salty, and it dissolves in your mouth. You just chew it up a bit and it sort of breaks down, doesn't it? And that's what you call eating. You've just described eating. It sort of just breaks up into little pieces. I guess that's because it's made from little pieces. Quite spicy, it is very flavoursome. It's interesting that you don't have to refrigerate that. The original pepperoni. 100% pork on the bottom there. Do you like it? With a beer. I think it'd be nice with cheese, because I love cheese. Oh my gosh, I love cheese. It would be nice with cheese. Savory. And some crackers. Yeah, these are actually pretty good. Oh! Tuck cheese crackers, yum! You're a bit partial to cheese, aren't you, Tammy? Oh, I just was going on and on about how I love cheese, and then like magic. Oh, they're a little bit broken. Try and get a whole one for you and it says tuck on it. I right. have a broken one. Oh it smells cheesy. Mm. 
It's like a cheesy powder on the outside. The biscuits aren't made with cheese. Mm. They're made and then they've got a cheese powdery coating on the outside of mm. them. And it's quite salty too. It's right up your alley. They're really salty. They've got a cheese flavor in there. A little a little bit bait tasting, but that's okay. Mm. That's okay. They're really, really crumbly. They just sort of like go, I really like these cheese ones. Let me know if you've had them before in the comments below. I really do love, love them. <laughs> oh, <I> love them. <laughs> we're looking at this black pudding thing and we don't really know what we're supposed to do. It frightens me that this has just not been refrigerated, right? How does yeah. that work? Suitable for freezing. Why? Defrost before cooking. What? And use within one month. Of opening it, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. But not to um, say to keep it in the fridge or anything. You'd have to keep it in the fridge. No, we just got away from England not no, no, being no, no, in the fridge. No, no. But once you open it, that's what they're saying. You have to put it in the fridge. Oh, okay. And then after a certain amount of time, you have to throw that away if you haven't eaten it. Because it's made from blood, it's a great source oh. of iron. Less than 3% fat. Oh, yeah. That's all right. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know why I like this. That's okay. Just, just cut two pieces like yeah, that. Yeah, it's scaring me very much. Okay, why is it scaring you? It's like a reddy colour and then there's white blobs in it. That'd be fat. You'll do your favourite things. <gasps> Blood and fat. How long is this going to take? This is a couple of minutes. See that bit there? That's your... Cause <laughs> Fair <laughs> see, enough. See that big bit of fat in there? Does not interest me. It's got my me. name on it. <laughs> I'm going to turn it. Oh, it's black. Why do they call it black pudding? Yeah, this is why they call it black pudding. If you look at crime scenes, when blood dries up, oh, it's dark. Go. I don't know why I know this. <laughs> I don't know why you know it either. <laughs> Should I be worried? Well, it's really smoking now, isn't it? Yeah, I think you reckon it's ready. I reckon it's ready. Oh, it's something to look forward to. You're wrong. We're going upstairs. Look, some more stuff from Uncle Brian. But that's not all. If you come over here. There's another box, yes. Yeah. There's another box there. If you come over here, there's another two packets yeah. down there. Yeah. I will never catch up. Oh, it's a long way back up here, isn't it? Don't smell it. No, it smells nice. Does it? I, I'm really, mm. really, really concerned. Actually, it makes me salivate. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. It doesn't have much taste at all. It's a little bit cardboardish. Thanks, lace blood. Oh, oh, oh. No, I don't mind it. Look, a bit for that big fatty bit, Tam. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's tasty. It'd be nice with us with snacks. What would you have it with, Tam? In a pasta. A fellow friend it. vampire. You can mix it for a pasta dish. It'd be nice. I won't be doing that. Put a comment below what you have black pudding with. Breakfast. Do you? They have it with breakfast, I think. You gotta eat it all. No, I oh, can't. Man, I, can't I can't. How's it good for me? Gives you iron. I can't do it. I can't protein. do it. You know what it is? The taste is not as bad as I, I thought, but I think it's just getting my mind around it. It's made from pig blood. You're not helping me. I just, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, can't, I can't move past that part. Tell me below, would you eat that? No, 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 no. Nothing wrong with it. It's quite tasty. Are you going to be happy to eat more? Yeah, it's very soft. It's very, I guess because it's just made from blood and, and fat. Okay, no. And deal with black blood. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's stop. <laughs> good, good, it's good, it's good, it's stop. <laughs> Next, we're going to try these options. And this one is a salted caramel. It's Belgium chocolate. Yay. So we have one of those each. Thank you. Looking forward to this. This hot options chocolate thing is like a diet chocolate. Mm -hmm. Really, really looking forward to this because that blood sausage. Quite nice, actually. You God. Honey, uh, give me a kiss. Oh, you <laughs> eat. No, it's not bad. It's not good, Just though. Get your head past what it is. Yeah, okay, sure. It's no different to eating a kangaroo or eating a crocodile. I had trouble eating crocodile. Is this a joke? <laughs> it kept biting me back. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, very rich. Oh, it's really, really rich. Nice strong caramel hints in there. Mmm. Mmm. And suddenly you can taste a little tiny bit of salt. Mm. I like it. Out of ten, would you give this? Give it a seven. I'd give it a eight and a half. Very nice. Nice combination of the chocolate and the caramel together. So let's make this Quaker's Oat banana flavoured one. I think we'll just make one. Yeah, because we know what you're like with oats, <laughs> don't we? Maybe ten I'll like the banana flavoured one though. Well, we'll make two then. No. We have to fill up with water, don't we? Is it water or milk? 
I can't read it. Get the magnifying glass. I bought a really, really big magnifying glass thing so I can read small instructions on things. I have glasses. This is what I purchased. I can't read yellow and white. It just doesn't work. No. We'll put it in this little bowl. Hopefully it's not too small. Now we have to fill this up with water. There's a line on the back to there. It actually smells all right. It smells beautiful and banana-y. Have a whiff of that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I think this little bowl is pushing the limits of it. I've successfully moved it from the little bowl to a bigger bowl. Does it say how long I have to put the microwave for, honey? Two minutes. The horror that's going on in there. We were so lucky we put it into a bigger bowl. Oh my gosh, it's gone everywhere. It's very thick. There it is. That's how I like it, guys. Want to try some? No, I don't. I really... Oh, why is there so much milk in here? <laughs> Might be all right. Come on, let's go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Oh, she likes it. It is. You know what? For me, it's just the texture. The flavor is okay. I don't mind the bits of banana in it, like the banana flavor. It tastes like someone's mushed a banana through it. Well, it has a consistency of a mushed banana. Mmm. Well, I like it. It's nice. Oh, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's success then. If Tim likes it, it's all good. Would you eat that happily in the morning? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm happy. Cookie time. We've got two different sorts here. Galaxy Orange Chocolate Crunch. Chunk. Crunch. We've got the new Galaxy Orange Chocolate Chunk. Oh, they survived the journey. Oh, they're big. Oh, smell that. Orange. Oh, it's very popular in England. <laughs> Orange, once again, they love yeah. the orange. Have a look at this beautiful biscuit cookie. Is it a soft cookie? Oh no, it's hard. Oh, oh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's our review, by the way. Nice little bits of chocolate chunks in there. Mm. Is, is the orange in the chocolate or is the orange in the biscuit, Tam? I think the orange is in the biscuit. They're a nice crumbly biscuit and they have a little bit of a homemade feel about them. I think the orange is in the chocolate. The orange isn't particularly strong in it. No. It smells stronger than what it tastes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a cookie that I would eat again. Yum. What about the other biggies? They're mine. <laughs> More biscuits and these ones are from Fox's Fabulous Triple Chocolate Cookies. Triple chocolate. Can't go wrong. I already love them. <laughs> Triple chocolate thing, it's a chocolate biscuit and then it's got milk chocolate and also white chocolate chips inside. See, I wouldn't have read it like that. When I first saw triple chocolate, I thought it's got dark chocolate, milk chocolate and white chocolate. But it doesn't have dark chocolate. Oh, it says new, even more chocolatey. Awesome. Yes. They look nice. Mm. You can see the white chocolate chips in that and the milk chocolate ones. Mm. It is very chocolatey. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I'm just trying to get a good taste of the white chocolate and also the milk chocolate in there. They go really nicely in the chocolate biscuit. They're crunchy. They have a homemade feel about them. They're nice and chocolatey. Mine. <laughs> we have some Smith Savory Selection six pack chips. There's three scampi flavor and there's three bacon flavor. And we've had the bacon flavor before because these are the ones that look like the little chips of bacon. Yeah, they were yum. But do you remember having the other ones? I don't know if you've had the scampi one. What's a scampi? It sounds like a creature that lives in the sea. It sounds That's... like a prawn. Have you tried those before? I think I tried these ages ago. Ooh, <laughs> not what I expected. They're like little pillows. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> they might be yummy. They gave me an accent for some reason. Mm. They're quite lemony. I don't think I've had these. No. So they're a little pillow, just like that. They've come straight from the sea. It's very um, ocean flavoured. It reminds me of the battering that you get on pieces of fish. Mm, but harder. Yeah, because they've got a lovely crunch. And they're hollow inside. I like them. Could you eat a whole pack? I don't think I could. No, but you could eat a little pack. Yeah, even that, I don't think I could eat the whole packet. This is probably a good size for these because I think they might get a little bit too much. And they've got like a, a, a prawny taste to it. It's pretty good. I'm going to try a bacon one again because I did like them. I know this is a, supposed to be a no repeat mm. taste test. As Tam said, they're like little strips of bacon. Mm. Oh. Seriously, I that don't need to so have nice. one. 
Mm. Better than the scampi. So mm. you could eat the whole pack of that. Don't mm. think I could get through a whole pack of this. It's good to show these again because I think the people from over other countries apart from the UK would like to see that again because they are really tasty. I love the look of them. I mean, that is really cool. It's like, I can't. You're right there. Pulling off my chair. So we go. <laughs> Let me have the camera. No. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, that's all. <laughs> Very nice. I'm sitting up very high. I think that's what it is. Well, you got your stool up. You should put it down. There's a lever at the side. <laughs> it's in the back. That's no, why. Not. Whoopsie. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us all of these UK treats. We really do appreciate it. Now, can you please thank Uncle Brian in the comments below? Because without Uncle Brian, we know this taste test would not have been possible. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, all. Bye. That's my scampy ocean. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that's a wave. Can't you tell? And what am I? I don't know, what's that? Bacon. Oh, <laughs> how is that? Bacon. <laughs>